Meanwhile, Manchester United announced earlier this week that former striker Mason Greenwood would be leaving the club, despite manager Eric Ten Hag reportedly being in favour of his return. Greenwood had charges of attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour and assault occasioning actually bodily harm dropped by the Crown Prosecution Services in February. So were Man United right to drop him or should people be innocent until proven guilty? Well, lots to discuss then. And former footballer Matt Letizia and lawyer Dele Alewanle joins us now. So, Dele, if I start with you, did you hear the recording of what uh, Mason said? Um, and do you think that Man U had a point dropping him and saying he can't play for the team ever again? I think Manchester United is useless. Um, um, they are... Uh, grossly incompetent with the way they handle the uh, matter. I also believe that I'm ashamed as a Manchester United uh, supporter uh, of over 33 years of how they handled his case. It doesn't seem that Manchester United has a lawyer or maybe they have lawyers. Well, we'll find out because they were not guided. They didn't do handle it properly. He was uh, discharged, not discharged. They, they, they dropped the charges against him in February. It took them half a year uh, to conclude their investigation, and they panicked. They are incompetent, grossly incompetent, and I think Arnold should go. Manchester United uh, is a mismanaged club, uh, famed... Uh, uh, the big, biggest club in the world. I think they are beca be behaving like a Sunday League club now with the way they handle this issue. Um, their investigation, I, uh, they were about to come out with a statement. I was in Rome when Sky News called me. They wanted to interview me. And then, then Dele, let, let, an let me bring let me bring Matt Letizia in here. Matt, thanks for, for, for joining us. I mean, the, the, the police and the Crown Prosecution Service are probably the only people who have seen and assessed all of the evidence against Mason Greenwood, and they decided not to proceed with a prosecution. So, I mean, is, isn't it... Don't we want to live in a country where people are innocent until proven guilty, and if they're not proven guilty, they should be allowed to get on and live their lives as normal? Yeah, I think one of the things that um, uh, did happen, though, one of the key witnesses withdrew their evidence, if I'm if I'm right in, in thinking that. Uh, maybe Delhi would be able to have more information on that, but that's what I've read. Um, so if uh, if you've committed a crime and, and one of the witnesses doesn't want to talk about it, you, you kind of get away with it. Um, and, uh, and unless we're privy to all of the facts in this, um, it's very difficult to, to make a judgment. Um, so it's OK saying innocent until proven guilty, but you might be guilty, but the person uh, that has all the evidence against you doesn't want to tell anyone about it, uh, then you're going to get away with it. So it's not a black and white matter um, uh, in terms of uh, just saying innocent until, until proven guilty. I think it's, it's a little bit more than that. And I think we need more information in the public domain uh, before being able to, uh, to make a clear cut judgment on this. Matt, isn't there some double standards, though, here? I mean, Harry Maguire was uh, away on holiday in Greece and uh, he was found guilty in Greece of aggravated assault, resisted arrest and attempted bribery, and yet he was found guilty of that. And yet he remained not only a Manchester United player, he remained as Manchester United's captain after all of that. And he was actually found guilty. The Mason Greenwood hasn't been found guilty of anything. So, I mean, are there not some terrible double standards at play here? Um, I, I think if you're, uh, if you're going to start talking about double standards, we could be here a very, very long time when it comes to <laughs> punishments handed out in football. Uh, but you, you're absolutely right. Um, that, and there, is, there has been double standards for forever and a day. Um, each case should be judged on its merits. Uh, and I'm sure uh, Delhi will agree that, um, you know, in those situations... Uh, I think everybody needs to be available all the facts before before people make real serious judgments on this. And 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 yes, innocent until proven guilty, it, I, I completely agree with. Um, but sometimes if things are hidden from us and everything is just displayed uh, that that we get to see is from a PR perspective, and everything has been spun 
you know, we know about all the meetings that were happening at Manchester United on how they were going to um, manage his reintegration into the squad. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I, I, I feel we are PR'd out in this country and I would much rather have uh, no PR departments and just let people tell the truth. That would make things a lot simpler. Delhi, Delhi. Um, I mean, in a in a criminal case, of course, a case has to be proved beyond reasonable doubt before it can be pro- proceeded with. A club surely has to consider matters on a balance of probability, a much lower test, which they may feel was satisfied. And and whatever the rights and wrongs, if the players, the fans, the sponsors don't want him at the club, then surely reality has to kick in, and 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 the decisions taken for them, isn't it? I I think the management of you, uh, United, uh, uh, Manchester United, implicated themselves. They put out a statement that he did not commit the offence, uh, of uh, offence uh, as put to the public. Uh, Mason Greenwood said he's innocent. The CPS dropped the charges. So as a result of that, it's in his favour. Um, the clips in the public domain was just for a few seconds out of uh, a video of about five minutes. So when uh, people want to judge uh, based on feminism, you know, the work culture, uh, the council culture, to say they don't want him at the club, they did him an injustice. This guy has been there uh, since the age of seven. Uh, He was only 19 years, 19, 19 years old uh, when he committed the offense. They did not give him a second chance. He wasted his youth. He didn't have fun. He's now with the woman. They have a child. I think Manchester United management should cover themselves, their faces, with shame. Actually, they should face the wall and cry. 